Days Gone is tough. Freakers, not zombies remember, populate almost every corner of the world and alongside them you'll also find infected wolves, bears and cougars. So you might be in need of a little help along the way. In which case these 13 tips I wish I knew before playing might come in handy. 1. Quick save whenever you're near your bike. It's a boring tip to kick things off but it is essential. Remember to hold triangle and quick save whenever you return to your bike as you never know when you could stumble upon a horde and get mauled by masses of freakers. If you're quick saving frequently, then it won't set you back too far. 2. Unlock the field repairs melee skill as soon as possible. When you unlock your first skill point, we'd strongly recommend investing in the field repairs melee skill. This allows you to repair any melee weapons you find with scrap, so you can continue using them and prevent them from breaking. Your backup boot knife isn't strong at all, so you'll be much better hanging on to those baseball bats and 2x4 planks. Okay. 3. Your flashlight will attract enemies. Having your flashlight on during the night is obviously a huge help when trying to, you know, actually see things, but freakers are attracted to the bright light. It lets them know exactly where you are, so when you're sneaking up on some unaware enemies, turn that flashlight off by pressing down on the d-pad. Four, fuel cans are infinite and always respawn in the same spot. If you find yourself running low on fuel, search for a red fuel can. These will refuel you to 100% and even better than that, when you leave the area and come back, it'll have respawned in the same spot you found it. You can also place them near enemies and shoot it for a huge explosion. Five, pull up alongside gas station pumps to refuel on your bike. Whenever you pass a gas station, which is marked on the map with the fuel icons, make sure you pull up alongside a pump and hold circle to fill up without getting off your bike. As long as you don't have a horde chasing you, of course, because then you'd be in trouble. If you plan your route through Oregon with a few small detours to gas stations frequently, you'll almost never run out of fuel. 6. Work out which attribute to boost with Nero injectors. At every Nero research site and Nero checkpoint, you'll find white crates with Nero injectors inside. These allow you to buff three core attributes, health, stamina, and focus. Each Nero injector will increase the stat you choose by 25 each time. Health is self-explanatory, it'll allow you to take more damage, while stamina increases the time you can sprint, jump, and roll for. Focus, on the other hand, is only relevant when you've acquired the focused shot ranged skill, and it enables a slow-mo bullet time ability when aiming down the sights and clicking the right stick. Increasing your focus stat lengthens this ability and is great for spraying down hordes or stealthily headshotting enemies in ambush camps. 7. Get the green thumb and the butcher survival skills as soon as possible. Increasing your trust level with the various camps around the map is crucial to progressing and unlocking upgrades for your bike and new weapons. The quickest way to do this is to complete activities in the respective regions, along with selling plants and animal meat in the kitchen. Green Thumb and The Butcher doubles the amount of plants and meat you acquire, which means you can earn trust much quicker and saves the amount of grinding you have to do. 8. Cut down or shoot off all Nero checkpoint speakers before you turn on the power. At each Nero checkpoint, you'll have to refuel the generator before you can open the doors. Turning on the power will also turn on everything connected to it though, including the loudspeakers. And as decades of zombie entertainment has taught us, zombies latch on to loud noises instantly. Hop on top of the main checkpoint buildings and hold square while next to the speakers to cut them down with your boot knife. And if there's any you can't reach, equip a suppressor and shoot them off. Otherwise, when you emerge from the Nero checkpoint, there may be a horde waiting. I think that's all of them. 9. Tap L1 to bring out your secondary when near an enemy on your bike, then R1 to shoot. If you get swarmed by freakers or chased by wolves while on your bike, you can tap L1 to bring out your secondary weapon and target them. When the crosshair gets tighter, tap R1 to shoot and take down those fools from the safety of your bike. Just don't get too close or you'll be knocked off. 10. Fast travel between discovered Nero checkpoints to restock on resources. 
We've mentioned that fuel cans respawn, but resources also do the same at Nero checkpoints. If you're running low on anything, from bandages and medkits to scrap and kerosene, you can simply fast travel between all the Nero checkpoints and restock. There's always a fuel can or two at each one as well, so you'll never run out of gas. 11. Find the bike skins you unlock as rewards under decals when you visit a mechanic. As you complete some of the storylines in Days Gone, you'll unlock decals for your bike to spruce it up and make it look certifiably badass. It's not explained in game how you actually equip the skins and customise the look of your bike though, so for that you're going to want to head to any mechanic you'll find in a camp that offers bike upgrades. Decals don't cost anything to equip so you can change it up whenever you like. 12. Burn out nests to free up fast travel routes. Scattered throughout the world of Days Gone are infestation zones which are essentially a group of freaker nests. You can destroy these by burning them with either a molotov or a fuel can, and once you clear out infestation zones you'll be able to fast travel through them, so make sure you do them as soon as you come across them. 13. Watch out for traps and snipers. In and around ambush camps are plenty of traps lying in wait, like bear traps, tripwires, and even snipers. Human enemies are just as dangerous as freakers, so keep an eye out on the ground for the floor-based traps as you can dismantle them with square before you set them off. Snipers are a huge giveaway with their red laser sight too, so you can take them down without a problem with a swift headshot. That asshole, I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. So there's a few tips to get you started in Days Gone. Let us know if you have any more, and if you're about to take on the Horde yourself, then best of luck surviving out there.